a game of chess, there are occasions when you'll have almost your entire army of pieces still on the board, but positioned in such a way that their systematic downfall is all but assured. As the Matrix's agent Smith put it to an overweening police lieutenant, your men are already dead. We may be experiencing such a moment in the tech industry today, thanks to Apple's exceptional new A10 Fusion chip, which threatens to devour a big chunk of Intel's heretofore imperious silicon army. Now, before you accuse me of being high on my own metaphorical supply, I'm not saying that Intel will be crippled or surpassed anytime soon. But I am arguing that the chip giant is under a substantial threat, the likes of which it hasn't faced for a long time, maybe ever. A quick look at the Geekbench scores attained by the iPhone 7 quantifies a staggering achievement, the single core performance of Apple's latest generation of smartphone processors has basically caught up with Intel's a laptop's CPUs. The A10 chip inside the iPhone 7 comfortably outpaces its predecessors and Android rivals, and even outdoes a wide catalog of relatively recent Mac computers, including the not-so-recent Mac Pro. The iPhone's notoriously hard to benchmark against anything else and this is just one metric, but it's illustrative of Apple's accelerating momentum and mobile focus. Intel has for many years been the undisputed champion of desktop and laptop processors running the x86 instruction set. Its sole competitor, AMD, hasn't actually been competitive since around the turn of the century, and we have the Wintel portmando reminding us of the enduring dominance of Intel's chips and Microsoft's Windows OS in the years since. But many things have changed since the days of comparing AMD's Thunderbird against Intel's Pentium. The first thing, the one we're all aware of, but never really adequately conscious of, is that the whole world is moving to mobile computing. This isn't some slow transition off on the distant horizon like AI, it's a thing happening right now. Advertisers are shifting their spending from desktop to mobile faster than they are pulling it out of print media and people are buying smartphones at five times the rate that they're acquiring new PCs. IDC's 2015 figures show 1.43 billion smartphones shipped versus 276 million PCs. Apple by itself shipped more iPhones, 74.8 million, in the last quarter of last year than the entire PC industry, 71.9 million, managed to ship PCs.